Welcome back, everyone. Uh, it is now March. March, and and I got a big problem. Um, I'm out of food already. I am a little shocked at how fast I'm going through it, and uh, yeah, we're in panic mode now. I have to get some. Um, I have to get some food for them. So, uh, silage is the problem. And I think I actually I think I have some. Let's uh let's go check and see what we've got. As you can tell, I have done some tree trimming. I've opened things up. Um reading room, I need it. I get claustrophobic if it gets all too tight. Uh alright, let's run over here. Real quick, I want to see what I've got left. I don't think I have a lot left. I think I really got to get to work. Um, and I have a lot to do. Uh, what do we have left? Okay, we have enough to keep us for a little bit, but... Uh, wow. Wow. Those cows are going through it real fast. I'm going to have to go into, you know, total pro mode uh, to keep this stuff flowing. So... I think we need to get to, um, I think we need to get to, um, half real quick. Uh, that, you know, that typically gets the highest output for silage, and so uh, we're going to have to do that. I need to get some corn down. Either that or I see if I can find a cornfield that is, um, ready to harvest. That might, that might do it. With that said, we've got four fields to harvest, uh, as it is. Okay, so that's going to put us... Uh, we've got mineral feed, we've got everything else we need. Yeah, that's it though. That's the last of our silage, so... Uh-oh. Problems, problems. All right, so a little bit of a catch up. Uh, I did some work. I did clearing. As you can see, you can have a good view of the our fields now. Uh, there's still more to do in the back. I haven't finished what I, what I want to do, uh, but we'll get there. Um, I did some shopping. Um, I did pick up this field here. We, I think we talked about that in the last episode, and uh, it's ready to go. Uh, this is sunflower, and um, March is prime uh, time to sell sunflower. That said, I also bought this field here that's not quite ready. Um, I think next month it's ready. Um, this is canola. Uh, just to confirm that, this is canola. I need it for mineral feed production, so we're not going to sell this. We're just going to harvest it, flip the field. We're going to harvest this one, flip the field. But our oat field is ready um, as well. Let me throw that here. Oat field is ready as well. And um, that is uh, some food for our for our horses. But it's also going to give us some straw so we can get that into the next cow pen. I think all of these grass fields uh, are ready to harvest. So yeah, yeah, a lot of work, a lot of work. Uh, this one is almost ready, and I forget what we put in there. What did we put in there? We put soybean. That's okay. There's no rush on that one. Uh, but this field here is ready. Um, that's barley, and we need to probably sell that, even though it's not the best price right now. Um, but we'll sell it anyway. And uh, more straw. More straw for us. So straw is not going to be a problem. Hay is going to be a problem. Um, and silage is going to be a problem. So... That said, uh, can we find a cornfield that's actually ready? Um, that's corn. These two up here are corn. Are they ready? Uh, 65 is ready. And that is 44,000. That's affordable. Um, I don't have it right now, but oops. That's not what I want to do. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's get this one done for sure. And this one done for sure today. Um, 
because um, we needed money from this is prime time to sell. And this one here, I want to get uh, something in there uh, right away. Um, I would like to uh, probably, um, I'm not sure actually, but I, but I do want to get it productive. It's a nice big field. These three fields here, uh, we are going to convert those. We're going to take down all of the hedges in between and the trees and everything, and we're going to make one big field out of this. So lots of projects. Um, yeah, we're going to be in a fair amount of jump cuts as well. And uh, let's go. Let's go. So I don't need that right away. What I do need is this. However, I need to lease... Um, I need to lease a uh, header for Sunflower. Uh, that one won't do it. So I'm just going to head to the store. We'll lease a header. And, oops. So you'd think I would follow the road, but I don't really need to, do I? It's fine. This is our, uh, our new road. Um, we've got uh, weeds in there. We haven't planned. That's another thing we need to do. We need to plant something in there. I think we're going to join. We said we were going to join those, so we'll do that. I can remove trees and hedges, but I cannot remove uh, stone walls. see if we can get us um, there's headers that fold up uh, so we don't need a trailer for it how are you guys doing today we are going to be doing uh, this will be the second episode of the week and now we've got another one behind this um, that takes over the Sunday spot from Corby. Uh, no, wait. Oh, no. Saturday spot from Fishthal. This should be the Thursday episode. And then one more um, for the week on Saturday. And then rinse and repeat the following week. Okay. Whoa. That was close. Okay. Let's see. Corn header. I want... I want uh, this. I think that's... I can run that with... Oops. Hang on a sec. Let me just double check to be sure. I don't want to screw this up. Uh, 1090 combo. Um, I can do these guys. Uh, that's a 12 meter... 12 meter header. I think I can use the other one. It's not listed there. Uh, but I think... That's also a 12 meter. So I'm just going to go with this. And just to be fancy, we'll make it yellow. And that's extra 5,000. No, 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 no. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not that fancy. Uh, so lease, that's going to be 6,300. And there it is. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to... This might be a problem down the road. This will be a problem down the road. The last episode, I came very close to turning off traffic. And this is why. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, guys. Here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to turn off traffic. Maybe temporarily, maybe permanently. I'm not sure. Yep, I just decided. Uh, we're not role-playing at all in this series, so... Um, no traffic. Traffic's off. Our field is just over there. I can see it. It's ready to go. Has been ready to go last month as well. But, um, yeah, shouldn't be able to knock that out.
Question is, how do I get into that field? That's the question. And the answer is, oh, they even got a fence there. I don't know where the entrance is. I guess we'll just keep going around until we find somewhere to go in. There we go. Here's our entrance. We'll start this over here. Ooh, that's really wide. Not bad at all. Let's see how that goes. Stop, 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 stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? What happened there? Um, oh, I see. Okay. Okay. That was good. Let's get a truck over here. By truck, I mean tractor and trailer. Money's kind of low right now, but it should jump right back up soon. I did keep some of the trees up. Give it a little flavor. Don't want things too open. Don't have to worry about cars. A beautiful thing. I can drive on the right side of the road. I really do need a bigger trailer, though. I wanted to buy another sunflower field, but um, by the time I got to it, it had been harvested. So, yeah, so I decided to go for the canola field. Now I did find another mineral feed production. Now, I think I'm gonna test it out. I wanna see, uh, I would love it to come up as, um, instead of pallets, I would like it to come up as as uh, loose material. Oops, I think I missed the entrance, oh boy. Okay, we'll turn around. Can I cut through here? Shouldn't, but I, but I will. Nobody saw that. There we go. I have to figure out where the best place to sell sunflower is. I hope it's a grocery mart. That would be nice. Where is it? It's here somewhere. Uh, not here. Here it is. There we go. All right, let's wait this out. We're gonna get working on something else. Okay, so, um, so here's the plan. Uh, we are gonna harvest all this grass. It's all ready to go, I think. Uh, I wish you could see that from, from the map. You can't, you have to kinda, you know. So these are, you know, I say medium-sized fields. I'm gonna turn it into one very large field. We're going to take down all these trees. And this one is also ready to go. And if I'm not mistaken, this one should be also ready to go. Yep, all three are ready to go. So we're going to do that. Um, and then merge it all. I'm going to take the uh, little uh, tree be gone and 
open this whole thing right up. Matter of fact, why don't we start with some of that? We'll do that till we have a full load. Um, yeah, full load of sunflower. I should check on my horses too. This is going to take a little while, I think. Took out the neighbor's fence. I'm not gonna be happy. Okay. To be more careful. And a little stump there. That is a separator between two of the fields. And we still have to do this part down here. The harvester is still going. It's taking a while though. realize that is also our field there we could take down some of this I think I'm gonna take down a bit of it so that we can um, make this a nice rounder corner come on We're done. That is going to be one huge field. We'll probably trim up some more stuff. I'm not trying to be uh, very envi environmental friendly on this series. It looks like our harvester actually unloaded um, by itself. So that's great. Okay, what's next? Um, what is next? I guess we need to mow. Um, we're going to have three fields to mow. And then we're going to mow everything in between those fields. But we'll get that going right away. We need to silage really badly. Uh, where am I? We've got, so that'll be almost perfect, two loads. Let's see where we can sell our sunflower. Uh, sunflower, best price right now is oil mill, which is completely across the map, I think. Let's tag it. Where is oil mill? Oh, down there. Okay. Right, we haven't been there before, I don't think. Harvester's doing some weird stuff. We'll have to manually pick that up somehow. I'm gonna keep adding some in here. Uh, I started putting some into the other, into the other uh, cow barn, but I uh, started to realize how much we're gonna have to produce here. Yeah, it would be nice to have a, a production that does loose 
loose mineral feed. Just get a whole trailer full and dump it. Whoops. I think, um, I do like this forklift, but I think I might, if we can't get something that does loose, I think we're going to switch up and get a telehandler, um, with a special big bag thing that makes picking them up a lot easier. This is nice though, I like it. Whoops. Yeah, I'm not being exact. I'm not trying to be. Nine o'clock dinner bell should go. Let's speed up the time a little bit, actually. We'll put it at three. It's like producing it at a pretty good pace. That I'm not concerned about. It's getting them over. Oh. Okay, let's have a look. So, there's no food right now. And there's straw. There's lots of straw. Um, no food, but at 9 o'clock we should see that change occur. Uh, in the meantime, let's look at that other mineral. That uh, mineral feed production for a second. So, uh, we've got this one here, which is 52,000. It takes different crops. I don't know exactly which which ones of these um, actually make the mineral feed, so that would be a test. Uh, it's not expensive, so that's a pretty good deal. There's another one somewhere. Let me find it. There's this that will create all kinds of farm supplies. Uh, so I could possibly go into this. It's only 25,000. There's this facility here. We'll also make mineral feed. Okay, I think that's it. So we've got a few options. Uh, I'm not sure which way to go with this. I think the cheapest way to go would be to go with uh, one of these guys. They don't quite fit the look and feel here, but no, maybe we can do this. 25,000. I don't even have 25,000 right now anyway. So, okay, let's think about it. Let's think about it. We certainly have a lot here. I think we could probably sell this and put a new one in. Oops, a little bit further over. It's not really fussy about lining up, which is kind of nice in a way. Okay. Um, newer slurry, does it show mineral feed? No, it doesn't show it. Um, so if we have a look at our production right now, uh, we have no more canola. Uh, we've got 18,000 stored, so I got to pick up 18 pallets basically. Uh, our wheat is still there, though, so if I just sell this, um, then we're going to be... Um, yeah, I don't want to lose that much wheat. Wow, not doing a good job at all. We got a lot of cleanup to do. Almost done, though. Okay, so I'm just going to go do a delivery, because I think that's more than... Um, yeah, that won't all fit in here, so we're going to have to do two trips regardless. All right. Let's go find the oil mill somewhere up near the top there. When we had the snow the other day, uh, or a couple of months ago, I guess, I noticed there were patches on the road of different colors. Um, well, you know, patches that had snow, patches that didn't. But now I'm looking at it, I'm seeing these different concrete textures. Uh, or asphalt slash concrete, I don't know what they are really. Um, see that? That might be why. It's just different 
subtextures. Uh, the snow reacts differently, perhaps. There it is, it's right on the road. Perfect. I think it's right on the road. Uh, I gotta go in here. Seventy thousand, and that wasn't a full load, so we're probably looking at about 80 80 ish for full load. But we won't have another another full one, so that's okay. I was thinking about the wheat that's in that current uh, mineral feed production. Uh, how I don't want to sell it, um, unless, like I don't want to lose the wheat if I just sell that that production and replace it i'm wondering given the weird stuff that goes on with the underground uh storage i wonder if i put up um a new production next to the current one if it will pull the wheat from it hmm. might be worth a test let's clear this out i'm gonna go around and pick up all the loose ends there's apparently lots of them. This is probably a case of the course plane not uh, properly detecting the, the width. Yeah, see, it detects it as 12.6 meters, and it's actually a 12 meter header. That's the problem. Barely picking up any. That over there, though, will get quite a bit. Not sure why this isn't picking up. Alright, that's close enough. There's a bit more, but it's not worth it. Not worth the hassle. Any good deals in here? Ooh. This would certainly be welcome. Uh, 375. Ooh. Different attachers. Hmm. Okay, we're going to return uh, the least header. We don't need it. And we're going to see if this will find its way back to, to the farm. Let's see what happens. Go to, and let's just do it to here. No. Okay. We need to get this guy to work right away on that other, on the barley field. We can, we can sell that field now. This one here. All right, 176. A lot more pleasant driving without a header. I think I can... I think I can get right out there. Two, 
sharp and we do want whoops where am i yeah there we go and we do want the swath perfect all right let's go sell the rest of this and we'll We'll head over the field. Barley is pretty high yield, so it'll it'll fill up the trailer. Uh, the, uh, the the barley is pretty high yield, so it'll fill up the harvester pretty quickly. All right, uh, I think we can work our way down through here. If I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. Notice the little stump at the ground. Let's we'll see if we can fix that up. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Fixed. All right. Yeah. Another tractor sure would be useful right now. Oh no, rain. Rain. We're gonna have to stop. Um, what is the weather? We got it for a couple of hours. So we'll fast forward to 11. The harvest. I guess we're going to be fast forwarding to 12. There we go. All right, that's two fields mode. One more. Now, this is going to take me quite a while. Quite a while. Um, I'm going to windrow. Uh, windrow it all. And then I'm going to... Uh, pick it all up at the forage wagon. Um, but I'm also going to mow in between all the rows before I go ahead and join the fields. Uh, no point in anything going to waste. So, um, then we'll merge the whole field. I'm going to do a lot of that off camera. Um, that'll be ready. We'll have one big field ready for us in the next episode. That's going to take a while to do. Then I'm going to need to, for sure, for sure, um, I'm going to have to look at getting another tractor. Uh, probably a really big one. Um, including a big windrower. And, you know, mowing with this is not bad. It's actually, you know, it's about as wide as it gets, to be honest. The, I think there's only a couple that are much bit, that are bigger than this. Um, the windrowing, we need nice, nice big swaths. And, um, yeah, that was going to make it challenging. And this is all going to go to silage in this batch. And we're going to start shifting uh, our focus on uh, taff for silage. But for now, we we're urgently need it. So yeah, this time it'll be silage. And next time we're going to pet it and um, uh, get some hay as well. We're going to have lots of straw from the, that big field we're just harvesting right now, as well as the other fields uh, with the oats. But we're going to be good. Uh, we're going to be all set. We just have to figure out the mineral feed thing. I, I don't like the pallets. Uh, not at this level of volume. That's a lot of pallets to move. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we do. Okay. 85% uh, barley. Okay, so we're going to take off and we're going to go sell this. Uh, this one is going to the farmer's market. Had a look. It's not the best price, but it'll do. 
And that is over. Uh, we delivered to there recently. Won't make the mistake of pulling in there again. The challenge with cattle farming is um, a lot of the product that you produce goes goes back into the cows. Um, so income is challenging until you know you start really um, selling some good cattle, and it takes a while. It's a fine line trying to balance that, and that's why we're flipping fields. Uh, that's kind of the only way we can make money at this point without, you know, having to sit around doing nothing for a while. Chickens are good because they lay eggs, um, and you can just start selling them right away. Uh, they don't take long. Um, sheep are good, same thing for the wool. Uh, pigs, however, are probably the most challenging. They require a lot of different kinds of feed. Um, oops, right here, aren't we? I used to stop being this open. Okay, I'm just gonna pull over here. These are nice big swaths. I love it. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know how long this episode is going to turn out to be. It'll be at least thirty plus, uh, but we'll. Um, I'm going to continue doing this. It's going to take quite a while. That's, a, that's the thing about big fields and, and video. Um, there's a lot of waiting around. Uh, but we're going to get this all done. Next episode, we're going to focus on uh, what we're going to put in this field, which is going to be grass. We already know, but um, then we're going to uh, find a source for corn, um, probably plant it perhaps in that big field that we're just taking barley out of right now and we'll get to figure out how to get a uh, forage harvester as well as uh, figure out our mineral feed uh, solution we're stalled right now as far as buying cows uh, i don't want to spend money on cows right now we're gonna have to get uh one big tractor uh, i'm keeping my eye on the uh, used sale um but you know which comes to shove, we're just going to have to pick out something. Well, we, we might lease, actually. Um, and then we, we need a... I want to say we need a third tractor. Um, but we this one here will do. Uh, but I would like to get something a little bit more modern. In the same size. Uh, but something that's a little less manual transmission. And um, yeah, We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky in the sale and we'll get some good, good finds. So, all right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. Uh, there'll be a bit more transformation in, in the next episode. And uh, if you are enjoying it, uh, please consider subscribing. As well as, um, you know, commenting and like and, you know, all that stuff. Um, I do appreciate it very much. That's it. That's a wrap. I hope you guys have a great day.